All right, eighth graders. This is a video to help you with question five on your CR this week, CR number two. I'm going to just show you how to do this using the standard algorithm. There's lots of ways to divide up fractions, but for now I'm going to use the standard algorithm and then if I need a further explanation, I will. So let me just talk to you about what the standard algorithm means. The standard algorithm, we just take negative four fifths and divide it by negative eight. Negative 8 is the same as negative 8, negative 8 over 1. So you want to write, if you have whole numbers, rewrite that whole number as a fraction. When you're doing division of fractions, you keep that first fraction the same, negative 4 fifths. You change your division to multiplication, and you take the multiplicative inverse of that second fraction, or you just flip it right over. 1 over negative 8. Then you can multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So some teachers say keep, change, flip, keep, change, change. I'm not sure what your sixth grade teacher finally got you to at the end of the mod last year where you studied this. Multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. All right, negative, this operation means divided by. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this is a positive, and then I still have 4 over 40. Now I can simplify this fraction to write it in simplest form. I can divide my numerator and my denominator by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 40 divided by 4 is 10. So the final answer here is 1 tenth. There's also ways you could have handled this by finding a common denominator and then dividing straight across the top, straight across the bottom. But in general, most students get to the point where they keep the first fraction the same, they change the division to multiplication, and they flip over that second fraction. Then they simply multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and simplify. All right, I hope that was a quick reminder of how you need to divide fractions.